If I can make any kind of unique quizzes to help you all perform better, let me know. I'm happy to help. All right, name the marked skull bone. This is on the top lateral sides of the skull. Parietal bone. Name the mark 12 vertebra. These connect in with the ribs. Thoracic vertebra. Name the marked region in this thoracic vertebra. It's just behind the vertebral body on each side, a very small slender spot. Pedicle. What are the lateral structures on the lumbar vertebra? Transverse process. Name the marked facial bone. It's pointing to your upper jaw. Maxilla. Name the marked fascia bone. It's pointing to your cheekbone, your cheekbone. Zygomatic bone. Name the vertebra. It doesn't have a body, and it's the very top vertebra in the spine. Atlas, also known as C1. Name the marked anterior rectangular part of the vertebra that will have an intervertebral disc above and below it. Body, also called centrum. Where do you find this vertebra? It has a large vertebral body and a very short stubby spinous process. Lumbar, lumbar vertebra. Name the marked skull bone. It's pointing to a bone in the posterior inferior back of the skull where the spinal cord connects in. Occipital bone. Great job. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. Name the marked holes. It's pointing to a bone between the hip bones and holes on the front of it. Anterior sacral foramina. Name the superior bone of the sternum. It's one of three bones of the sternum. It's the top one. Manubrium. Name the marked part of the frontal bone. It's pointing to a spot between the eyes at the lower part of the frontal bone. Glabella. Name the marked vertebra. It's the second vertebra from the top and the neck. Axis, also known as C2 vertebra. Name the marked dividing structure between the frontal bone and parietal bone. What suture is it? Coronal suture. Name the marked structure. It's just lateral to the sternum. It's like a soft kind of rubbery material. Hyaline cartilage. Name the marked structure on the thoracic vertebra. It's pointing to the posterior lateral portion, just lateral to where the spinal cord would be, posterior lateral to it. The lamina. Name the marked structure. This is like a bony projection just basically behind where the earlobes would be on the temporal bone. Mastoid process. Name the marked structure. This is just behind the eye socket on the lateral sides of the skull. You can see it really well. 
sphenoid bone. Which ribs are true ribs? Ribs one through seven. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. Name the marked structure. This is a structure in the lowest part of the spine. The coccyx. Name the marked structure. Uh, this is pointing to a small little bony projection below the external auditory meatus. Styloid process, just in front of the mastoid process. Name the marked structure. It's the lowest part of the sternum. Xiphoid process. Name the marked bone. This is a bone in like your upper throat area above your thyroid cartilage. Hyoid bone. Name the marked facial bone. It's pointing to a bone just above the, the top of the nose. Nasal bone. Name the marked flat surface on the thoracic vertebra. These are top flat surfaces that point posteriorly. Superior articular facet. Name the marked anterior tooth. So your most anterior teeth, what are they called? Incisors. Name the lateral anterior portion of the sacrum. It's at the top, the lateral parts of the top of it, at the very front. The ala, which means wings. Name the marked dividing rough line. This is between the parietal bone and the temporal bone. Squamous suture. Name the marked hole for the vertebral artery in the cervical vertebra. Transverse foramen. You're doing great. You're almost to the end. You're doing great. Name the small hole below the eye socket. Infraorbital foramen. Infra means below. Name the marked structure on the mandible. So it's the very proximal superior mandible, a little notch of structure. It's called the coronoid process, the coronary process. Name the marked space within this lumbar vertebra for the lower part of the central nervous system. It's a triangular space, large space, hole. It's a vertebral foramen. Name the marked bone on the mandible, the marked hole on the mandible. It's in the lower jaw, a hole at the front. Mental foramen. Name the marked structure. It's pointing to a hole on the side of the skull in the temporal bone, a large hole on the lateral side. External acoustic meatus. Uh, thank you all so much. Uh, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you so much.